look that we're gonna be doing today. Um, I'm gonna download the image because of course, all of our inspo always comes from Pinterest. So this is what it looks like. We're gonna do like a smoky winged eyeliner. I've always wanted to do that, so let's get to it. First, we're gonna go ahead and set the brows in place. I'm taking my brow freeze from Anastasia. And this little spatula they came out with, it's super amazing, as you can see. It coats the entire brow. I do feel like I grab more product than I should, but it really just gets the job done. And because the brows are so saturated, it's so easy to brush the hairs the way you want it. And then once you're done, you take the spatula, the flat side, and you really, really smooth that out. And the brow's done. There we go, the brows are done. We're gonna let the brows do its thing. We're gonna let them set for a minute. I'm gonna be taking some concealer in the back of my hand. This is from Huda. And I'm using the shade Cookie Dough. I'm gonna be taking a flat shader brush and we're going to just carve out the eyebrows. And I'm gonna use my finger to really tap it in. We're getting to the eyelid as we're gonna use it as today's eyeshadow base. Now I'm taking a wet makeup wipe and I'm going to clean up the brow freeze around the eyebrow because that area can get kind of tacky and then when you apply foundation or concealer powder, it kind of sticks to that area. So I always like to go in and just wipe it off just in case. I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in a little closer so we can get into these eyes right here. This is the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette and we're just going to be using the top row to create our smoky eyeliner. I'm gonna go ahead and take these little eye strips from e.l.f. These are so like old. By old I mean they've come out a long time ago, but they are so useful, especially when creating these kind of looks. So I like to cut them in half and then place them a little lower than where I would want the wind to go, just in case if I have to clean up, I have enough space to do that. You know what I'm saying? So I always go a little lower that I'm planning to. First, I'm gonna take the Morphe and Ariel A19 brush, it's a really nice flat side. And I'm gonna take the shade just barely right here to set the eye, set the concealer in place just in case there's no creasing on the eyelid. Since the main focus here is going to be the eyeliner, I'm gonna make sure everything else is nice and smooth. But this color gives it a nice bone nude color to the eyelid and it cancels out all redness and imperfection, so I am very obsessed with this color. And it just gives like a softer look to the eye as well. It's like a pre-transition color. Now we're gonna get started with the blending, starting with the lightest color first. I'm gonna go in with the shade Good Vibes on the JH33. And basically you want to just mimic the same shape as eyeliner and with this color you can go as far up as you want because it's the first color but I want to make sure we keep blending the eyeshadow in the same way the same shape so everything is nice and cohesive I always like to go in two times with the eyeshadow color just to make sure that it's as saturated as I want it to and then I'm really blending it on the eyelid as it is the first color we don't want like a stark line so I'm being very loose with the eyeshadow and the brush like a nice loose hand. First color done. Now we're gonna turn the brush over as it is clean. And I'm gonna go with the shade Boo Bear going into the dark color. And we're gonna do the same technique, but this time we're gonna apply it a lot closer to the lash line. And we're not gonna go in all the way to the inner corner, so keep it like about three quarters out the way. And again, keep it lower than the first color so you start seeing that gradient effect. This look, once you get the hang of it, it's so easy to do. And it's so nice and fancy, looks very sultry, but honestly, it's like foolproof. It's so easy to do. Give it a nice quick blend on the top, at the beginning of the eye. Now we're gonna go in with our next shade, which is actually not the darkest one. We're gonna go back with a color like this in the middle. It's called Booked. This is the Tres Luce B103 brush. With this color, we're just gonna add a little bit more warmth and blend the dark and the transition color together. As you can see, the darker I go, the more I focus it on the actual eyelid and not on the wing because we don't wanna bring this color all the way up to the crease. Now we're gonna take a Sephora brush. This is the Pro Shadow 15. We're gonna go with Cinnamon Roll, the dark color right here. and. Instead of blending it, I'm going to pack that right on the eyelid and on the lash line and then very closely to the wing part. And I give it a little bit of a blend in the inner corner. 
like that. I'm gonna go back in with Good Vibes on a JH32 and blend out those colors together. Mostly in the crease and the eyelid. Now what we're gonna do is take a black eyeliner. This is from Fenty Beauty, the fly liner in the shade black. And we're gonna create a really dark line just to outline the eye and give it more of a precision look. We're gonna go from inner corner all the way to outer corner. So I'm gonna create a baby wing just with the eyeliner. And then you can bring it in a little bit in the inner corner if you like. Now we're gonna take some mascara. I really have been liking my Honest Beauty mascara. First, I'm going in with the primer. We want really long lashes. As there's so much going on in the lash line. We want long enough lashes that are going to elevate the eye. So it's not just so clustered. And give it a nice wing flare at the end. But in applying the lash primer, it's going to show that when I apply my mascara, I'm able to coat those baby hairs right in the inner corner to add some lashes there as well. Now I'm going to go in with the mascara side. I'm going to be applying some glue to my actual lashes for today and then we're gonna move on to the brows okay guys so one brow is done i'm going in with the brow pen from anastasia it's seriously the best thing ever it gives you that microbladed look to your brows so basically you keep adding hair like strokes to your brows in the areas where you might want them a little fuller okay now we're going to remove the tape look at how satisfying that is also so important to do your eye makeup before because as you can see, there's always fall and that technically just like stays on your skin and your like face makeup. But these were the most amazing things invented because you guys see the makeup is literally perfect. I don't have to fix it or nothing like that. So now I'm gonna go and place my lashes. Ooh, this is cute. This looks so Good. It's like such my vibe and such like fall, like campy, like makeup. Let's go ahead and get started on the face. I really have been liking two primers. I'm going to show you the Tatcha Luminous Silk Primer. And then let me take my rings off for this because we're about to go in with these hands. So I'm applying my Tatcha Luminous Silk and then I'm going in with a little bit of my Fenty Soft Matte. They're kind of similar, but I feel like for fall, not only do I want coverage, I want my face to be as smooth as possible. The skin looks super plump, super hydrated, and primed, ready for foundation. So for foundation, I'm mixing my NARS Natural Radiant Foundation with a little bit of my Honest Clean Corrective Tinted Moisturizer. I feel like these two together get the job done, and it gives me the most flawless complexion, and I've been liking to mix things right here in the back of my hand. And I've been liking this foundation brush, this is from e.l.f. And it's like actually the putty primer applicator, but you guys can see it applies and blends foundation like a dream. And I'm sure it's super, super affordable, so definitely a yes for me. We're gonna go ahead and take our Tarte Concealer. This is the shade Ultra Creamy Light Medium. And now, we're gonna be taking Anastasia's cream bronzer in the shade Amber. And we are going to buff this the face. I like to go in with my cream bronzer first because when I blend out my concealer, I can go ahead and take the concealer and blend the areas that might be a little too dark. I also love this shade because it's not super dark and it's not really orange and it's not really gray. So it gives you the perfect warmth to your face. Now I'm taking my Morphe sponge. Honestly, one of the best blending sponges ever. And I'm gonna be really careful right here, but really wanna make sure you bring the concealer all the way up to the eyeshadow. So it gives you a nice lifted look. And then whatever is left, I bring it up to the forehead to balance out the cream contour. Now I'm going under to brighten and fix anything. Going back with my tried and true Laura Mercier loose powder. This is the honey shade, which I don't mind it at all. I rather have the um, original one, but I've been trying it out and I really, really like it because it's literally my same skin tone. And then my concealer is a little light for me right now. So it kind of brings it down a couple of shades, which I love. And then now I go ahead and press that powder everywhere that I'm a little bit shiny. For extra brightening, you can go ahead and take the brightening palette. This is from Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics and I am obsessed. I believe I got the, I don't know what, there's different shades, but it's the brightening and setting palette. And I'm just gonna be taking these two colors right here, which are the darker ones, and further set 
face and as you guys can see it just brightens everything up so nicely you guys see that and i'm taking my morphe m523 brush this right here is like the full coverage face of my entire existence now we're going to bronze and then we're going to be applying the blush i'm taking the jockey hair cosmetics again and taking this really pretty bronze shade i thought i'd be really light for my skin tone but it actually looks really nice it's a very thin formula bronzer it has a little bit of a sheen luminosity to it which i love as well and like i said before it just blends everything super nice can't forget the jawline i also like bringing my bronzer out to my cheekbone for extra warmth i don't know if people might not like it but i feel like for my skin tone it looks pretty nice i'm taking another one of ariel's brushes this is the can't read it a29 and i'm going to lightly just bronze up contour the nose a little bit that before applying my blush i like to go in with some setting spray again from morphe just to have those powders really be like face is looking really 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 good babes now we're gonna go ahead and take that blush shade which is so pretty it's like a light pink i usually go for like a darker blush but we're gonna go with a darker lip today, so I don't wanna like overwhelm the situation. So stunning. For highlighter, I'm going back to my tried and true Maybelline Molten Gold and this iconic eye highlighter brush, the M5 110. And it just applies your highlight. So beautiful. The tip of the nose, keep this bow, chin, bridge of the nose. And then I like to take my highlighter and kind of just grace it over the eye for a little bit of glow and shimmer just add something taking a smaller brush this is the translucent b121 I'm gonna really apply that to the inner corner and bring it up and then on the size of the nose as well now we're gonna go ahead and wipe off the lips i always find wiping off the lips at the end gives you the best lip liner and the best lip formula because your lips are dry but the edges are really coated with powder so the eyeliner just glides on very very smoothly and it stays on a lot longer before we do that let's go ahead and work on the lower lash line i'm not going to go too crazy because i i really like what we got going on but we got to add a little something to it show some love i'm going to go with a flat definer brush so that the eyeshadow application is a little more precise i'm just going to run that back and forth making sure we don't get it on the waterline because we want to keep that open i can go back with your mascara this is very reckless but this is how the pros do it like that okay guys we're almost done now we gotta do the lips i have four products for you to try out we have two lip liners from jacqueline hill and two new lipsticks from makeup mario mario these are the lip liners right here i'm gonna go with the more nude one and see if that's dark enough for me now we'll go with the other one this could be like a really pretty everyday shade for me i'm gonna go ahead and use the other this is supposed to shade butter pecan this will look so stunning on fair skin tones, by the way. Okay, I thought it looked more pink, but it looks actually really pretty. It's like a dark mauve pink. So I have a very dark lipstick. It's like a brown from Mica Mario. It's actually the perfect shade for this lip liner. Very, very cute. I am, however, going to blot the center because I'm going to apply a lighter shade. The, the one that I just used was Graph. I'm going to take Sierra. Sierra. Taking Graph again, I'm going to apply that on the outer corners, but I mainly wanted this situation and now i'm gonna go ahead and take the fenty beauty lip balm in the shade latte lips oh what a pretty fall glam it's super easy and super cute i'm gonna go ahead and finish getting ready and i'll be right back and by getting ready i meant doing my hair I always feel so complete whenever my hair and makeup is done but I really hope that you guys love this fall tutorial, something different, something easy that all of you guys can do and achieve and wear it literally to any occasion. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below to my channel, follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok. I will have all that information down below for you guys along with other products that I use and mention for you guys to shop and create the look. So that was it for this video. I hope you guys loved it and until next time, muchos besitos. Y abrazos. Bye, guys.